Good morning, everyone. Welcome. I'm Emily Alpes, the Marketing Director here at 3DO, and I want to start by thanking each and every one of you for being here today, both in person and to those who are joining us virtually. Today is an exciting day for us. This is the first press conference we have hosted here in our newly expanded facility. Uh, and we're thrilled to be joined by the Torrance Mayor, Patrick Fury, who, along with the city of Torrance, has shown 3DO great support since we moved into the neighborhood. We have a full agenda today, so let's jump right in. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the Honorable Mayor Patrick Fury. Mayor Fury has been involved with the Torrance City Council since 2008 and has garnered the mayoral seat since 2014. As mayor, he serves as chair of both the state and federal legislative advocacy committees. And in addition, he serves as a voting delegate to the Sanitation District of Los Angeles County, the Southern California Association of Governments, and serves as the chair of the Los Angeles County City Selection Committee. He is also the voting delegate for the National League of Cities. As a council member, Mayor Fury served as chair of the Community Planning and Design Committee and as a member of the Citizen Development and Enrichment Committee, the Strategic Plan Committee, the Armed Forces Day Committee, and the 2010 Ad Hoc Federal Legislative Advocacy Committee. In addition, he served as the voting delegate to the West Vector Control District of Los Angeles County and as the alternate voting delegate to the Sister City Association. Mayor Fury also served as the appointed City of Torrance representative to the Palos Verdes Landfill Citizen Advisory Committee, where he served as vice chair. Please join me in welcoming to the podium Torrance Mayor Patrick Fury. Good morning, and uh, thank you, Emily, and everyone at 3DO uh, for the warm welcome that we received today. On behalf of myself and my colleagues on the Torrance City Council, and I should introduce one of my colleagues, uh, George Chen, who is with us today. We are honored to be here to help celebrate National Engineers Week and be part of this exciting press conference and facility tour. We're thrilled that 3DO chose Torrance to call home. 3DO is the world's largest volume manufacturer of 3D printed metal components made with their patented 3D printing technology and digital manufacturing platform. Over the past year, 3DO set a number of records, gaining accolades for not only their cutting edge technology, but their growth, carbon footprint, and their vision for the future of manufacturing. They've been recognized among their peers as one of the industry's forward thinking leaders. 3DO serves a number of industries from medical to aerospace and defense, industrial and more. And it goes far beyond just metal 3D printing. They have more than 20 patents granted with several currently pending across a wide range of applications ranging from 3D printing to robotics, software and automation. It's fitting that 3DO would call Torrance home as their core values and business practices parallel much of the important work being carried out and supported by the city of Torrance. Just last year, the company moved its offices to Torrance to complement its accelerated growth. Soon after, 3DO doubled its facility, which spans almost 80,000 square feet, actually right where we're standing right now. And I'm sure I can speak for all of us. I can't wait to go on the facility tour. As the city of Torrance continues to participate in the California Green Business Network and Los Angeles County's Recycling Market Development Zone, we are thrilled to know 3DO also incorporates eco-friendly practices and sustainable efforts. 3D printing is about as close to environmentally friendly manufacturing as possible. Recycling their proprietary metal alloy powders to ensure their processes follow a zero waste protocol, which is in line with the city's own goals of sustainability future. In 2021, the city of Torrance was named a finalist for the most business friendly city, an award that recognizes cities that prioritize business recovery, reinvention, business assistance and growth during the COVID-19 pandemic. And like Torrance, 3DO has managed to thrive this past year, notwithstanding the pandemic, 
bringing jobs back to America with their onshoring of high-tech manufacturing and technology jobs to support our local economy and our community. I'm told that 3DO plans to add 70 new jobs this year, totaling 250 employees with plans to double that over the next five years. And like the diversity found among our community and business partners, 3DO is also proud of the gender and ethnic diversity found among their workforce. For all the reasons that I have mentioned, it is truly an honor to partner with 3DO. We're looking forward to a bright future together with continued success for years to come. Welcome to Silicon Torrance. Now I'm honored to introduce Matt Sand, the co-founder and the president of 3DO. Thanks, Mayor. Appreciate it. My pleasure. All right. Thank you, Mayor Fury, for the kind introduction. We could not be more excited to be located here in Torrance, in such a vibrant city that has already supported and helped facilitate our rapid growth. So thank you. I'm happy to be here today announcing such a huge milestone for 3DO during National Engineers Week. Over 40 engineers work at 3DO, and you have to love how engineers are so resourceful and creative. It's thanks to the work of our engineers and society that we live in such an extraordinary time of abundance. We call this press conference today to announce a major milestone in 3DO's history, the launch of the future for production metal 3D printing technology. Until now, we have revealed very little about our patented technology, which we have been quietly developing over the last five years, and for good reason. We felt we had a tiger by the tail, and we wanted to gain as much advantage as possible. But when our CTO and his team put the final touches on our next generation printer, we looked around the table and agreed it was time to show the world what we're building and how it is already fueling the next generation of product innovation right here in the United States. Before I reveal the machine, however, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the history of 3DO and how we got here today. When we first started in 2016, what actually feels like two decades ago, we scanned the industry and we saw other metal 3D printing companies thriving in the markets of prototyping and low volume, high value production. To our surprise and delight, we could not find any 3D printing success stories of high volume production. So we set out to become the first metal 3D printing company successful with mass production with what we saw as a huge market opportunity. Within two weeks of starting the company, my two co-founders, Matt Petros and Peyman Torabi, told me they had an idea for a completely new and different kind of metal 3D printer. So that's where the company started, inventing a 3D printing technology that is fundamentally very different than anything else in the industry. And it was a major breakthrough. By many measures, our metal 3D printers achieve superior results, especially when it comes to surface finish, material properties, and dimensional accuracy. Simultaneously, working hand in hand with production customers, we learned very quickly that the printer is actually only a small piece of the puzzle when it comes to mass production. In fact, everything up and down the production line affects our ability to win in the marketplace. So we gradually expanded scope from being focused only on the metal 3D printing tech to innovating up and down the entire production line. And it was with this broad, holistic perspective that 3DO's manufacturing cloud was born. 3DO's cloud is our digital end-to-end -end platform built from the ground up to scale our 3D printers into mass production. And as you'll see on the tour, the manufacturing cloud is built with an array of next generation technologies, including software like AI machine learning, robotics, automation, material science, and of course, 3D printing. Our manufacturing operating system digitally monitors and controls the entire production line, getting feedback from every work center and sending digital instructions to machines across the line. Our incredible production team orchestrates these technologies 
to routinely set new high water marks in the industry. For example, last year we announced our millionth part and we printed nearly a million parts in 2021 alone. The manufacturing cloud will democratize manufacturing much in the same way the PC democratized computing and Amazon's AWS democratized the internet. Today, designing and launching physical products like medical devices is prohibitively expensive for all but the most well-funded organizations. It's not an exaggeration to say it can take years and cost millions of dollars to launch a new product. Imagine a world in which new products can be launched at the speed of software in months, not years, and for thousands of dollars, not millions. Digital manufacturing with 3D printing as the beating heart of the factory will create this paradigm shift. Innovators in the future will launch new products as fast as they can design them. This previously unimaginable manufacturing capability will level the playing field for all engineers. And this exciting vision for the future of manufacturing will become a reality through 3DO's manufacturing cloud that we are building right here in Torrance, California. Of course, we couldn't do any of this without our breakthrough 3D printing technology. And with that, let's turn our attention to the unveiling. You might be wondering what this dirty old box is to my right. Well, believe it or not, that was our first prototype printer. And it may not look like much, but we couldn't have been more proud of it at the time. It actually took four PhDs standing over it to run the darn thing. And just four short years ago, this was the foundation of the future for 3DO. After countless engineering hours and our CTO, Paimon Torabis, and his team's blood, sweat, and tears, we are now incredibly proud to reveal the Saffron platform. This is the culmination of everything we have learned about our new technology. And this is the mass production breakthrough the industry has been waiting for. The printer is three times more productive than our previous generation printer. And we believe this will be the most productive metal 3D printer in history when taking into account machine uptime and yields. We are very proud to recommit to being American made. Our technology was invented here in California and these machines are of course built in the USA. We will eventually have 125 of these right here in Torrance capable of producing over 20 million parts per year in this factory alone. Everything about this printer has been carefully designed with the idea of full factory level automation in mind, including automated print ejection and changeover. And as part of today's conference, we are also unveiling a new video that details our patented process and how these incredible machines work. So let's take a look. CNC machining is one of the most precise and trusted manufacturing technologies in the world. Design possibilities are limited, but CNC has been the time-tested standard for decades. The advent of 3D printing heralded a new era of digital manufacturing that was fast and flexible with unprecedented design freedom. But to date, the quality and cost of 3D printed parts have fallen short of competing with traditional manufacturing until now. What happens when the most trusted form of manufacturing, CNC, meets the design freedom, flexibility, and speed of 3D printing? 3DO's patented metal 3D printing technology combines the best of both worlds to unlock the full potential of metal 3D printing and allow product innovators to launch better products faster. 3DO's process uses CNC machining on a layer by layer basis to form green parts. The build area is 81 square inches, covered by eight spindles operating at 60,000 RPM with micron level positional accuracy. There are three steps to the printing process. The first step of the process is to spread metal powder across the build area. At less than 10 microns nominal, 3DO spreads the finest particle size metal powder. Depending on part geometry or print speed required, 
the printer can automatically vary layer thickness anywhere from 50 microns to 500 microns. The second step is to bind the entire layer of powder with a proprietary spray system. This spray technology creates uniformity and precise control over depth of penetration, which is impossible with inkjet-based binder jetting. The third step is to cut the new layer with up to eight micro-end mills. On a layer-by-layer -layer basis, these cutters define the perimeter of the part and any internal features. These three steps, spread, spray, cut, are repeated as many times as necessary to build the entire part. 3DO's technology creates new possibilities in 3D printing, such as the ability to define many layers at the same time or to cut upward-facing geometries in three dimensions, eliminating layer lines. When the print is complete, the build is automatically removed from the printer and the next job in queue starts immediately. At last, 3DO is unlocking the potential of metal 3D printing and allowing product innovators to launch better products faster. This is such a unique moment in time for manufacturing technologies in the United States. We're proud to be doing our part to bring manufacturing back to America, and we're especially proud to do that in a great city like Torrance, California. Uh, before we head out for the tour, I would also like to acknowledge our partner in developing these machines, Track Machine Tools. It was truly a joint effort to breathe life into this beautiful beast, they call it. And we couldn't have done it without Steve Pinto and his amazing team at Track. So with that, I think we're ready for the tour. Thanks, everyone, for coming.